What's going on y'all? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, I am Mitchell with Mitchell's Lawn Care. We're located here in Colfax, North Carolina. Just wanted to take a few minutes today and show you guys what I use here at Mitchell's Lawn Care LLC to treat weeds. All right, y'all. So on the work table right here, I've got Roundup, Quick Pro, and I've got RM43 Total Vegetation Control. These are two products that I use, not together, but separately, okay? That's why there's two different sprayers on the ta uh, table here, okay? I want to preface this with the fact that I am by no means a chemical expert, chemical scientist. I am a licensed pesticide applicator in North Carolina. Um, these two products were rec uh, recommended to me by Casey Turner of Turner's Yards and Mower 2 out of Stokesdale, North Carolina. So I'm not making any claims that these are the best products out there. Uh, I don't mix. I don't mix products. I know some of you guys out there uh, that are way more knowledgeable in this subject matter than I am will actually take certain products, certain chemical compositions, mix them with other stuff safely and, and, and yield pretty much the same service. Um, but I like to, I like the KISS method, if you know what I mean, K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple, stupid. So this is the KISS method for me, and I'm going to break down um, what I like about these products and why I use them. So guys, like I said, here on the work table, uh, on my right, your left, I have got the RM43. This is a total vegetation control product, okay? And next to it is Roundup Quick Pro, okay? Now, there are some similarities in these two products and there are some differences, okay? And there's a reason why I use one for certain tasks and why I use another for other tasks, okay? There's also a reason why there's two sprayers on the table, okay? I want to preface this with the fact that this is not a sponsored post. I am not being paid to present this to you, okay? Uh, I've purchased both of these products, okay, uh, from Amazon, and the Amazon links will be in the uh, video description down below if you choose to pick these up, okay? Uh, like I said before, I'm not making any claims that these are the best out there or the only out there. This is just solely what I, Mitchell, use here at Mitchell's Lawn Care LLC, and I thoroughly um, believe in these products, and I've had great results. Now, with the disclaimer out of the way, um, RM43. Uh, again, both of these products were, were turned on to me by Casey Turner, a buddy of mine uh, locally, owns Turner's Yards and Mower 2. Make sure y'all give him a follow on Instagram. Put his tag right here on the screen. Anyways, RM43 is a total vegetation control. And the similarity between these two products is they both have glyphosate okay now like i said i'm not a chemical scientist but on the label right here for rm43 it states that glyphosate one of the active ingredients is 43.68 percent in this now the roundup quick pro it is higher at 73.3 percent okay so they both have a similar or the same active ingredient okay and if you know anything about spraying weeds Glyphosate uh, has been around for a very long time, okay? Um, so, that is the similarity. Well, why have two different products here on the table? Because they do two different jobs, okay? RM43 has got a ma I don't know how to say these again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to murder it probably, but it is Amazapyr, okay? And I'll put that on the screen right here. It's I-M-A-Z-A-P-Y-R, Amazapyr, okay, at 0.78 percent okay and the the reason um, this ingredient is different and this product is different okay is because it has a weed preventer in it and that is the amazapir so if you can picture this when you spray this product okay um, it like adheres to the root system okay whereas roundup you know, sometimes we'll, we'll wash out and wash away depending on the weather, okay? And it doesn't last as long. The Amazapir is here to hang out and party for a while and give you results from anywhere from, I've had results from like six months to 12 months, okay? So, you don't want to use these, you don't want to use RM43 
around any plants, trees, stuff like that, that you do not want to kill. It's highly recommended for like, um, you know, farms for fence lines. What I use it for is fence lines and like sidewalks, curbs, driveways, stuff like that, where there is no plants, there's no bushes, there's no flowers, there is zero risk of killing something you don't want to kill for a very long time, okay? With that being said, um, like I said, I've had results, good results with this, six to 12 months, depending on conditions, okay? And that right there is why I have a separate sprayer that I keep RM43 in, okay? Because I don't ever want to get them mixed up. And when I was running similar sprayers, both of the same uh, style of sprayer, I would actually label it. Um, but now I'm keeping the RM43 and this LE, LT Pro 2.0 by Petrotools, and I'm going to be doing the Roundup Quick Pro in the HD4000. Okay, links for those down below as well. Now that ch that gets me over to Roundup Quick Pro. This is you know pretty much your basic roundup okay that you can spray around your plants and flowers and stuff like that safely you know so you don't get drift or you don't put too much and kill what you're not trying to kill but if you use it based on what the label says um, you're licensed to do so this is a really great product okay now why do I use Roundup Quick Pro okay now what makes it Quick Pro is the other active ingredient here on the front diquat dibromide or dibromide I don't know, diquat at 2.9%. The diquat is what pretty much gives this product its name Quick Pro, okay? We all know we want results ASAP. The customers want to see results ASAP, okay? And without using, you know, like Gramoxin, which is a restricted use, restricted use uh, a pesticide, to me, this is one of the next best things that I use, okay? Yes, you may know of something better, but this is what I use. Um, and it's definitely safer than Gramoxin, okay? So I use this around homes, planted beds, stuff like that, where I wanna see results, again, depending on conditions, I wanna see results within seven to 10 days, okay? If it's nice and hot outside, you know, dry, you're probably gonna see results in maybe two to four days, you know, start turning brown and, and, and dying off, okay? But pretty much totally dead, 10 to 14 days, totally gone, okay? Now, that's why I have a separate sprayer for the Roundup Quick Pro, because I don't wanna use this product somewhere that I should be using RM43, okay? Because the glyphosate and diquat in this is not gonna last as long as the RM43, okay? Next thing's gonna lead me into your mixing rates, and I'm gonna lead this with the fact that you should mix these based on what the label says. You know, the, the first and foremost thing that they'll say in a pesticide applicator class is the label is the law, and that's it. If it's not in the label, don't do it, okay? because these products, if used or, or if mishandled, misused, are very dangerous, okay? So on the back of every product, or front, I don't know, but on the front or back of a bottle, uh, there's gonna be a label, like a little book, okay? Um, I don't have these taken off because I know how to use these. I've bought them multiple times. I know what the label says and I know the mixing rates, okay? So for RM43, okay, I use, if I'm trying to, you know, I want to get the, the maximum um, efficiency or the maximum effect with RM43, I am at 7 ounces per gallon. So 28 ounces for this tank, okay? Now, you can back off of that, but you don't need to use any more than that, okay? Um, if you just want to do like your basic like leafy um, vegetation, 7 ounces per gallon is a little strong, okay? So you could probably get away with 3 to 4 ounces, okay? The hardier stuff, more of your woody vegetation, five to seven ounces per gallon, okay? And you're gonna need a measuring cup for that. Roundup Quick Pro actually comes with a measuring cup with it, okay? Um, let me back up. This is a liquid, all right? And the Roundup Quick Pro is a water-soluble 
granule. Hope I said that right. Water soluble granule, yes. And it comes with the cup with it, okay? And it is recommended at 1.5 ounces of granules per gallon. So this is a 4.5 ounce cup. So I fill it up and then I go another ounce and a half for a four gallon tank, okay? Seven ounce per gallon on RM43 and six, six ounces per four gallons. I'm gonna throw you off. 28 ounces per four gallons and six ounces per four gallons for the Quick Pro. Those are the mixing rates that I use. Could you use less? Sure. Um, you know, there's a reason why this comes in a two and a half gallon jug because you're using, you know, at seven ounces per gallon, 28 ounces per four gallons, you're using a healthy amount of this product per tank, okay? But that's what it's going to take if you want that six to 12 month time frame on vegetation control. Um, that's pretty much it. I didn't want to make this a very long video. If you enjoyed this content, give it a big old thumbs up. Like I said at the beginning, you can get these two products um, from the Amazon links in the video description down below. I get this in a two and a half gallon jug, and I believe this comes in a 6.8 pound jug, okay? Um, they're both gonna run you right around $100. So if you enjoyed the video, like I said, give it a big old thumbs up. Would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know the next time that I upload a video. Make sure you guys browse the channel. We'll see you next video.